Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. Much appreciated. Uh, please uh, take just a second to hit the subscribe button if you find my content helpful. Also, uh, leave a like on this video. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, so, let's break into this. So, today we're going to be doing uh, web scraping. And basically what web scraping is, is um, there's two ways. Um, so, one way is if <clears throat> a company has an API that you can hit uh, which means that they have to spend time to put uh, that information into a database and make it available through um, through their server and so that you can hit it uh, with an API call. Uh, it takes a lot of time and a lot of companies don't want to do that or don't care to do that or whatever. Um, so our, our alternative to that is to do web scraping, meaning that you basically go through a particular page of a website and scrape data from it and put it into a JSON uh, object. Okay, and that's what we're going to be doing today. So, uh, kind of a simple application, uh, not, certainly nothing you would deploy, but just to give you an idea and sort of run you through the process of how uh, this all works. So, uh, as you can see from the screen, we're going to be using Node.js, of course. We're going to be uh, doing it through... Uh, JavaScript and Node. Uh, we're also going to be using Axios because we do have to make a call to a URL. Um, and then we're going to select the data that we want to get from uh, that website. We're going to be in that website. Uh, we're just going to go to Wikipedia and we're going to pull um, states from this Wikipedia site. Now, Wikipedia, as far as I know, they don't have an API that you can hit where you get JSON data. So basically what we have to do is we have to hit this website, find the data we want to find, which is down here somewhere. We'll get to that in a second. And then put it in a JSON object, and then you can use that JSON object any way you like. You can store it, you can manipulate it, you can do whatever. Um, so that's that. So you have to have Node installed. Here's the website to do that. Uh, latest stable version, download it, run the installer, and you're good to go. Uh, so let's get started. So I'm going to open up my terminal, and I'm going to make a directory. I'm on Windows, by the way. Um, and we're just going to call this scrape. Okay. Oh, sorry, he created, sorry. Uh, make their, we'll say web scrape. Oh, whoops, sorry. Okay. Web scrape. Good. Now, we're going to install three packages. Um, they are, uh, as I said, Axios, so that we can go to the Wikipedia page. Uh, we're going to install Express, because we're, we're just going to, I'm just going to show you how to put the JSON data once you get it into a uh, API route of our own creation that you can then hit from a front end or whatever. Uh, and third, last but not least, we need Cheerio, which basically parses um, HTML data into JSON. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. It's pretty simple. Uh, so let's do NPM. First of all, we're going to init a project. Okay. Because we want to initialize, uh, initialize Node.js. And as soon as this loads, there we go. So just, you know, you can keep hitting whatever. It doesn't matter. We're just um, doing this for a project. Let me clear that. Next, we do npm i for install. We need express at, whoops, axios and cheerio. And while that's installing, I'll show you the, uh, I'll show you the cheerio. Cheerio JS. This is the uh, documentation on that. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do with it, um, but it basically just takes uh, stuff from a website, as you can see here, HTML, uh, and puts it into uh, a different format, JSON format. So that's that. Okay, so we got everything installed. And uh, so now we're just going to start typing out some code. Everybody's favorite part. <clears throat> All right, so um, so we just need a file. I'll call it scrape 
Node.js. You can call it server, that's fine, it doesn't matter. Call it whatever you want. Uh, okay, good. So, now first we need to bring in our dependencies. Oops, that's... Axios equals require uh, Axios, and yes, for those of you that didn't know, you can run uh, whoops Axios on either Node <coughs> or uh, sorry guys, I have allergies. Apologize for my voice. Uh, you can run Axios on both the back end and the front end. Doesn't matter. Uh, and last but not least, like I said, we need uh, Cheerio. Cheerio. Yep. Cheerio. Good. Now let's do our standard node where we initialize our express function. Oops, forget the equal sign. Um, and, and again, this is just to put the data into um, a, uh, a web page so you guys can see it a little easier. Um, so let's set that up. We're going to create our port so that we can view it. It's going to equal, this is a little overkill for this, but it doesn't hurt. Dot ENP dot port. This is just setting up a basic uh, server with Express. This has nothing to do with, uh, at least not yet, has nothing to do with um, uh, with part uh, with uh, web scraping yet, so we're gonna do app dot. Oops, uh, listen. Uh, we're gonna do our. It's gonna listen on our port and then a callback function. And we'll just console dot log. Oops, not group. Sorry. Uh, server running. Good enough. Uh, let's save that and just make sure that that works buzzing through this kind of quick so you get if you guys have any questions uh, leave them in the comments below uh, we're just gonna do node I didn't install nodemon not really necessary you can if you want uh, node scrape so server running so we're good stop the server good now let's uh, get into the meat and potatoes of it so we're gonna clear some space here and basically we're just going to um, you know what? Let's create our endpoint so that we can see it. Let's say app dot get because this is this is so we can take the data that we get after we web scrape and we can put it into our own API. So we're basically creating our own, uh, our own API slash we'll call it states since that's what we're gonna get states from the Wikipedia site. We're gonna do request and res your standard. Uh, uh, node JS get request and then for now we'll just do uh, res dot send states and let's see we'll save that and we'll come here and we'll do localhost on our port 5000 that we created slash states oh Sorry, I forgot to forgot to run the server. Node scrape. See if I can spell my own thing right. So we're running good, and there it is. States res dot send states. Okay, good. So we're we're good there. So that's all for the express. <laughs> um. So now we basically just need to create a function. Okay. And we're gonna call that fetch. Whoops, fetch. We'll just call it data. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's gonna be an async function. Async away. Okay. There. Now, what do we need to do? Okay. First, we need our URL. So we'll get that. 
we'll bring that in outside of our thing. So URL to string. I'm going to go back to that this Wikipedia site. So you need your <coughs> the page you're going to be on. You need that site naturally. Okay. So basically, what happens is uh, we make an Axios call, an Axios GET request to the URL. Then we use that response that we get from Axios to parse it into Cheerio so that we can then manipulate the data. Okay? So since this is a uh, uh, async await, we're going to do a try catch block. Catch here. Say E for error. Good. And then we'll just do. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, oh, sorry. That's right. We'll just do console. Uh, uh, e. In case there's an error, there shouldn't be, but hopefully not. Uh, okay, so let's say let's create a variable. Let res is going to equal our uh, Axios call to our URL. Axios .get. URL. So we have to await this process because we want to go. We want to request from this URL first, and then we're going to store it in this res uh, variable. So we're awaiting that process. We're waiting for it to be done, and then we can move on to the next process, which is our Cheerio. Uh, typically, you make the dollar sign the variable. Uh, it's just kind of the way Cheerio and their documentation suggests it. Now. Uh, Something recent that they added, you have to do, you didn't used to have to do this, but uh, according to the documentation, you now have to. You have to do Cheerio dot, uh, oops, sorry, uh, Cheerio dot load. And then you load in your res dot data. Okay. Now let's see if I can show you. See if everything's good. Right. We're just going to console dot log this Cheerio dot load res data. Maybe, maybe I should have uh, installed NodeMon. Oh, sorry. We have to call our function. I knew I was going to forget that. Fetch data. Save. Stop the server. Run the server. Good. And there we go. So that's our response that we get from Cheerio. Now, of course, that's not what we want, so we have to... Uh, do some more things. So I'm going to delete this console.log. We don't need that. So basically, now that we have this variable, this dollar sign Cheerio of load of the res of the data, excuse me, we need to tell Cheerio where to get that specific data. So we're going to use our dollar sign. Okay. I'm going to open up some uh, parentheses. I'm going to make a space. And I'm going to show you. So we have to go to the website and decide where to go and get that data. So it's going to be down, 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 down. Where the heck is it? Somewhere here. I can't remember. Oh, it's this. Sorry. Pass right over. So we're going to inspect this. We're going to open up our uh, console. Open that so you can see. So now we, the easiest way, we could guess, but the easiest way is to find it in your uh, elements, your HTML elements, because that's what, essentially that's what we're doing. We're looking for HTML elements, and then we're parsing them into JSON. So here. So here's our main div. Is that... Now something... You know, I have it saved over here, uh, but some. So basically, what you want to do when you find the div that you want, you right-click inside of your Elements console, go down to Copy, and then Copy. Which one is it? Copy JS path. Let's go back to here, and it it basically. Well, sorry, it shouldn't have the query selector there. And it basically gives you the section that you want to uh, come from. Now, for some reason, it's not working, but I have it right here. It, 
I think I think they changed that uh, recently. Anyway, so that's what you want to do. Now this returns a callback function. So each element that we get is going to be put into an array. So then we have to iterate over that array. So each so for each one, uh, we're going to pull out the uh, index of it and then the e. You can call that whatever you want, but I'm just calling it E for our uh, callback function. Let's say now, now that we get each one, uh, let's console.log uh, the E. Let's see if we can get something going. So let's go over here, stop the server. I'm going to clear this out. Start the server. You know, we're getting all this business here, which is fine. Don't worry, we're going to take care of that. Uh, but this is what we want. I know it looks like a lot, but don't worry, we're, we're going to get it. So see how this data says Wyoming? That's the state we want to get. So I'm going to delete this console. Okay. Now, one thing I want to do for this particular uh, application, you, you know, you don't have to do this, but to, just to show you, uh, we're going to create an empty array up here outside of the function. Okay. We're going to then take this empty array, manipulate it inside this function, and then outside of here it'll be ac accessible. So we'll be able to do this states. So you manipulate it inside the, e the you know, the for each or the each uh, uh, loop in this case, and then you can access it outside of that. Okay, so, so once we get each of the data, we're going to take, oops, sorry, states and we're going to append on it we're going to dot push we're going to push on each individual state <coughs> excuse me uh, as they come in okay so we're going to do that cheerio symbol the, the dollar sign which will be our e which is this right here our variable okay now this is important this is from cheerio dot text so we want to get just the text of it and then also this this is JavaScript. We're gonna just gonna trim off any empty space. Okay, and then I think that's pretty much it. Uh, let's check it. Let's save. Let's uh, stop the server. Start start it up again. Server running. Here's our fifty states. And there you go. There's our 50 states, same as on here. Now, of course, we just got the text for it, but that's different. Um, but that's basically it, guys. It's uh, you know, it's pretty, pretty simple. You create a function, you call the URL, you parse the data, you find the specific section that you want, or vice versa. You know, if you just want to find all the anchor tags or all the divs or whatever. And then you parse, uh, I'm sorry, then you iterate over each instance of that, and then you do whatever you want with it. In this case, we sent it to an express, um, you know, we set the empty array, we manipulated it, and then we sent it to a, um, an express uh, route. Okay? Uh, I mean, it's pretty simple. It seems like it would be something that, uh, you know, it would be really complex. However, with, you know, modern day technology, it's pretty easy. Um, now, I will say that uh, a lot of sites have uh, protection against this. So if you're making, like, millions of requests per minute, uh, they're going to most likely ban you. Uh, but just to show you that this can be done. So uh, hopefully you guys found this help helpful. If you did, please leave a like. And if you have any follow-up questions, uh, please leave them in the comments below. And also, please don't forget to subscribe with the bell icon. I would sincerely appreciate it. All right, guys. Thanks. Take care.